Well, Minneapolis city leaders are clashing with one another as fallout continues after a homeless encampment caught fire th Thursday. The mayor and members of the city council painting a different picture of what should happen next. This was yesterday at Camp Ninukasi, a homeless encampment at 28th and 11th Street near the East Phillips neighborhood. A fire ripped through quickly, blowing up tanks of propane and effectively leveling the site. Two people were treated for minor injuries. Adam Duxter explains how today the focus turns to what's next and back to a debate amongst the highest up on how homelessness in the city should be handled. As city trucks dump concrete, making a lot at 28th and 11th unlivable, Jennifer Jensen says what happened just next door to her house yesterday. Yesterday was just terrifying. It's still unthinkable. Chaotic. Um, there were people running everywhere. It just makes me sad. That we need a better plan as a city to address it. Council member Jason Chavez represents this neighborhood. I am tired of our current approach, which is dehumanizing and throwing people away like garbage. In Friday, previewed policy proposals that if passed by the council would allow for permitted encampments, while also creating a humane encampment response and requiring evictions to report their costs. When a situation like yesterday or an eviction, where do we take them? You tell me, Mayor, where are we to take them? I'm not going anywhere. Shortly after, Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry calling an impromptu press conference of his own, saying these encampments are hot spots for sex and drug trafficking and calling out the council on a lack of detailed plan for their proposals. You can't just put the word safe in front of homeless encampment and make it so. I'm the one that gets the briefings on this stuff. I'm the one that hears the, gets the horrible news first when, uh, from the city when a, a little kid gets killed uh, or a fire occurs. Uh, we've got to be able to respond. At the end of the day, it's like, this is a city lot. So I feel like it's the, city, it's the city's responsibility to correct this problem. People should not be living like this, um, regardless of their circumstances. Adam Duxter, WCCO News. Councilmember Chavez says he has support of the council and hopes the ordinances could move through by the start of the summer.